In today's video, we'll explore the dashboard. This is the location where you should spend the bulk of your time, where you'll find all the tasks that need your attention. So here we have, uh, on the left, we have filters so that we can filter our tasks and make tasks easier to find or, or to work with. Uh, currently, we're showing all of our tasks. Uh, we can show just open tasks, so the ones that are in progress. We can show just the pending tasks. We could show any tasks that are on hold. We, we don't have any currently, or any that are overdue, or, or tasks that are due tomorrow, for example, and tasks that were completed last week. Uh, so this makes it really easy to, uh, to hop around and quickly find the tasks you're looking for. You can also uh, view your coworkers' tasks, uh, uh, assuming that uh, your manager has given you the rights to do so. Um, by selecting that coworker, and then you'll see their tasks. Uh, we also have recently added this notion of quick tasks. These are tasks that are not part of any workflow that uh, you make for yourself. That might be uh, little projects that are outside of normal workflows. You can complete those. Uh, you know, you can build those using the quick task menu here. Um, you can assign a name, what it is, how long it should take, and who should do that assignment. Um, and when you do that, um, you'll see that uh, um, that they show up in your list here. And then you can use the quick task filter to uh, to easily find those um, and work with those. I'll assign it to myself, and we'll go. Uh, we'll look at our all view. And there it is. You can also filter it. You can just look at quick tasks here. Um, also, we have uh, some tabs here. We have we can look at tasks. We can also look at workflows that we're watching. Um, you, you can follow any particular workflow uh, just by clicking on its little watch icon here. And then when you come back to your dashboard, uh, you can follow the progress of, of that particular workflow. Um, so it kind of makes it easy to keep your eye on specific workflows that, that you may be associated with. You can also look at activities. So you can see all the things that have been going on uh, with your tasks. Um, so the dashboard is a central place to see what's going on. Um, you can see, for example, um, when the task is, is estimated to be completed, what state it's currently in, who's assigned to it, and if there's any comments on it. You can drill down into that task by clicking here, and you can get details about that task. You can see any files that have been uploaded, any comments that were placed on it, uh, the description, and any activity that's specific to that particular task. Um, you can change the status of these tasks by just clicking on their status. So if we wanted to complete this task or place it on hold, uh, we could click that, write any comments about why we did that, and then click the Save button. I uh, won't do that here. Um, uh, you can do that directly from the dashboard. You can change the assignments of people directly here in the dashboard as well. Um, and you can easily uh, add comments right here in the dashboard. And they immediately get added to that task. Um, so that's a quick overview of what the dashboard is, how it functions, um, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed this.